This is an old discarded door frame. It's a very nice thick piece of Maranti. I'm going to use that material for my gunnels on the inside or inwells as some people call it. These are the strips already ripped. I don't have a table saw but this setup with the normal circle saw works quite well. Just a fence clamped on and I can adjust that width over there to give me any thickness down to about three millimeters and it cuts very consistently. The nice thing about this is that you can clamp your plank regardless of its length and have it fixed in place and just walk along the edge so there's no hassle in handing long pieces of lumber around a stationary table saw. To make these inwells, I've used this alkaline ultra wood glue for the first time, gluing these spacer blocks in place. This is exactly the same as Tight Bond 3 that is sold in the States. It is a waterproof glue, so I don't expect any trouble with these joints, but uh, I did choose a low risk position to test it. Should one of these joints fail, I can always add metal fasteners afterwards or even glue in extra spacer blocks using epoxy, making the fail joint redundant. One thing about working with these glues that require perfectly mating surfaces as well as very high clamping pressures, I'm always worried that I squeeze out all the glue and there's nothing left to soak into the wood so I like to spread glue on either surface that I'm supposed to glue slightly in advance of actually mating them and applying the pressure. I suppose it's the pressure that can wait, you can put the parts together but give the glue a little time to work its way into the wood. And when you finally apply the pressure, whatever comes out wasn't going to be absorbed in any case. It was really just excess.